it is like 5 40 in the morning and you guys have been wanting a full day of eating with busy classes so that is what i'm showing you guys and i'm sitting outside of crossfit right now on tuesdays and thursdays are my long day and i do 6 a.m crossfit and then go from there so i don't have class until 10 though because i like like to have time in the morning to like do my quiet time, read my Bible, have my coffee, breakfast, whatever. So I'll have breakfast when I get home and everything and then I'll show you what I pack for the day because I go from 10 a.m. until 6.30 at night. So stay tuned if you want and you probably have seen my 6 a.m. CrossFit little routine if you've been following me on Snapchat, if you haven't. Sarah underscore Grace 11, but come along with me. Gotta always keep protein bars in your car so that right after your workouts or when you're stuck and you're hungry, you got them. So this is what I'm eating right now after my CrossFit workout. It was kind of a lighter day with just a lot of um, technique work. So this is what I'm having right now. Like I just said, it was more of a technique day, so we didn't do that much like crazy work. But I'm eating this power bar. It's 20 grams of protein, 210 calories. Pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'm eating this up until I get home and shower and everything. Because like you guys may have seen at the conference I attended this past weekend on Snapchat, protein is key. Like right after you need to get it in your muscles. And like fasting cardio is not good because you're already in negative protein balance. And if your muscles are in negative balance, you're not building, you're breaking down. So get in some kind of food before you work out. Even if it's like a little bit of BCAAs, a little bit like a scoop of protein powder and water, like get something in before you work out and right after. For breakfast, this is my crock pot pumpkin protein oatmeal that I made. And I made like seven servings of it. So I just have this with an orange. And then for lunch, I have an apple cereal, yogurt, and a salad. Homemade snack mix from when I work in the stadium. Has like goldfish, cashews, peanut M&Ms, almonds, white chocolate chips, cranberries. This is one thing I'm trying from, it's from, um, the stadium where I work and it's 20 grams it's like 290 calories though um, 20 grams of protein 4 grams of fiber and it's all plant-based but it's cookie dough flavor and that caught my attention and I want to try it so I'm bringing that today for snacks as well <laughs> so another option because you saw what I ate for breakfast but my roommate always makes eggs and so this is a great option one egg, a couple extra egg whites, mushroom, spinach, and then some avocado. So whatever floats your boat. What my guy roommates eat for breakfast. <laughs> Favorite time of day, if you see my Snapchats all the time, I always do a devotional, read my Bible, journal about it, and have my delicious coffee with my chocolate greens in it. All right, so now I have my whole face makeup on. Just have my whole face on, basically. And you saw what I packed for lunch, saw what I ate for breakfast, had my coffee, and now we are going to class. So, mile, basically, it's like three-fourths a mile walk. I used to scoot all the time, now I don't because it's cold. But stay tuned to class, see you there. I'm going to be for the size. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. We, we did that for a ground, but then we did that for a ground. And this is the video, right? No, because this is a bulk. And then V1 and V2 are in her. It's the fourth one down but remember you can't feel the first rib. Yeah, you can't feel the first rib. The fourth one down, but remember you can't feel the first rib. Yeah, so she said you need to press like extremely, not extremely, but like really hard. So, so this one would be <laughs> two, <laughs> three, <laughs> and then it would be like right there. And then if you want, yeah, you can feel them. All right, so that's, so that's the, that's V4. Okay. 
then B5 goes between it and B6. So it's it's just like this, it's boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. And then V4 is in the middle of her sternum and a chromium process, so like in the middle of that and just straight Four. down. So five and mm -hmm. six. Yeah. Like here. Mm -hmm. Six is in the middle, right? Yeah. Right here. And then six Ooh. is just her Before mid that, auxiliary, so like, but like a little the last one. Yeah. yeah. And then person. remember it's supposed yeah. to go like in like a upward direction. Well, put it over because six is going to go here and then five just goes right in the middle. Yeah. And then three is the one that's technically supposed to go like on her boob, but you're not supposed to put it there, so just like right in there. And then V3, okay. Mm -hmm. V2 and 4. So this is 4. And then just her left leg, which is right on top of super iliac. Oh, 4, 5, yeah. 6. Like okay, here. so look. Yeah. yeah. V4 yeah. will be here, and it's going to be between. And then just on the other side. V2. So that's between this and where's the 2? <laughs> okay. Those are the ones where we got to go forth in our fossil on each side. Uh, okay. Uh, So, recap for the day before I end you off with what I am about to make for dinner and dessert. But, you know those days where you're just constantly hungry? Like, that was today. Like, I could not get full, and so I ate all my snacks that I showed you guys my entire lunch. And it's 6.30 now, I just got back from class and I'm starving. So, we're gonna go in the kitchen soon. But... Yeah, the, the, my CrossFit coach told me like, you're gonna start feeling really hungry and you're gonna just always be hungry and you're gonna need to be eating a lot more. And I didn't believe it cause like it's like no cardio at all. But I think he's right because I was constantly hungry. I ate the whole entire lunch I showed you guys, plus this like the trail mix in the bag that I showed you, the protein bar, yogurt, everything. So, I this this has been an endless endless pit lately, um, but so stay tuned to what I'm eating for dinner. It, how did you guys like the EKG? I'm honestly so stressed after that class because there's so much to learn before our exam next week. So that's gonna be fun to do all tomorrow. But yes, that is that. And comment below what your favorite thing. I ate was and what like did you like the EKG any questions on that everything I have a healthy heart by the way a little a little differences here and there and something I don't know but she said I'm good so that was good to know um, and that is that so stay tuned to the next video here on fresh fit and healthy YouTube but until next time guys click the thumbs up if you like this and of course, subscribe if you aren't already. Bye, guys. As my food cooks, my cookie dough truffles that are on my blog, yum. Chickpea cookie dip, guys. Half a spaghetti squash, four turkey meatballs, some sauteed vegetables, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, zucchini, squash, a whole wheat wrap toasted, and that is that. Oh, and I'm topping it with pizza sauce.